Hello everyone, today video is about 10 principle of economics. Economics is the study of how society manages its scarce resources. Economists therefore study how people make decisions. How people interact with one another. And how the economy as a whole works. Principle 1. People face trade-offs. Making decisions requires trading off one goal against another. We need to sacrifice another thing for one thing that we like. This is a husky. His name is Jack. He must decide how to spend his time on weekend. He decides to spend all his time sleeping but for every hour he sleeps. He gives up an hour he could have used studying or playing basketball with his friend. Principle 2. The cost of something is what you give up to get it. Because people face trade-offs. Making decisions requires comparing the costs and benefits. Jack decides to sleep instead of studying. Hence, he may get a bad results on his final exam. And this may cause him hard to find a better job. If he considers the decision to study. The benefits he can get are intellectual enrichment and a lifetime of better job opportunities. Principle 3. Rational people think at the margin. Economists normally assume that people are rational. Who purposefully do the best they can to achieve their objectives. Rational people often make decisions on marginal change. For example, consider an airline is flying a plane across the mechanic. This plane has 200 seat and costs the airline $200,000. The average cost of each seat is $1,000. Now imagine that a plane is about to take off with 5 empty seats. And a standby hey. passenger will pay $750 for a seat. Should the airline sell the ticket? Of course they should. Because the cost of adding one more passenger is tiny if the plane has empty seats. This is so called marginal cost. As long as the standby passenger pays more than the marginal cost. Selling the ticket is still profitable. Principle 4. People respond to incentives. Because rational people make decisions by comparing costs and benefits. They respond to incentives. Incentive can be a punishment or a reward that induces a person to act. For example, when the price of a burger rises. A husky decide to eat fewer burgers and eat more vegetables. <laughs> McDonald decide to hire more workers and make more burgers. Because it provides an incentive for consumers and producers. The influence of prices on the behavior of consumers and producers is crucial for how a market economy allocates scarce resources. Principle 5. Trade can make everyone better off. BMW and Ford compete for the same customers in the market for automobiles. Huawei and Samsung compete for the same customers in the market for smartphones. Yet it is easy to be misled when thinking about competition among countries. In fact, trade among countries can make each country better off. Trade allows countries to specialize in what they do best. And to enjoy a greater variety of goods and services. Principle 6. Markets are usually a good way to organize economic activity. There have millions of firms and households in a market economy. Firms decide whom to hire and what to make. Households decide which firms to work for and what to buy with their incomes. Adam Smith made the observation that when households and firms interact in market guided by the invisible hand in 1776. The invisible hand is a natural force that self-regulates the market economy. The concept explains that an individual decision in a market economy to benefit them will actually make the economy better off as a whole. Principle 7. Governments can sometimes improve market outcomes. Will actually make the economy better off as a whole. This is because market failures may occur. When the market fails to allocate resources efficiently. Market economies need governments to enforce property rights so individuals can own and control scarce resources. For example, if governments impose carbon tax on the emission of the carbon. This makes the firm to emit less carbon, which results in less pollution. 
Principle 8, a country's standard of living depends on its ability to produce goods and services. The living standard in the country is depends upon the country producing capacity. In country where citizens of high income, have more multimedia set, better nutrition, better health care. Principle 9, prices rise when the government prints too much money. Inflation is the state in which the price level increases in the economy. When too much money is floating in the economy, there will be higher demand for goods and services. This will cause firms to increase their price in the long run causing inflation. When the government produce high quantity of nation's money, then it has lose its value. Principle 10, society faces a short run trade-off between inflation and unemployment. In the short run, when prices increase, suppliers will want to increase their production of goods and services. So, they need to hire more workers to produce those goods and services. More hiring means lower unemployment while there is still inflation. However, this is not the case in the long run. Let's take a look at me.